best things about the royal wedding is that uh, no one's anywhere else. So we've come to RHS Rosemore in uh, sort of North Devon and we're in the Woodland Walk right now which is full of beautiful dazzling colours of rhododendrons and um, all sorts of things really on this quite steep slope with some nice little terracing there and it's great there's not really anyone here so I think we've probably come at the best day of the decade if not maybe two apparently there's going to be another royal wedding of the scale for two decades so thank you royal family for giving us this oasis in the RHS Rosemore you just want to sort of get in it and have a swim almost in the blossom you know speedos breaststroke yes yeah i don't think it's suitable for front crawl that push i'll see if i can find a shrub that is though yes look at the splendor of it <laughs> rhododendron ruby bowman um i wonder who she was i wonder maybe we'll do a little research when we get home um alongside another sort of 7,000 different people's names that we've seen attached to plants today. But that's nice. Maybe I'll have a plant in my memory one day. So what we're also trying to do in a slightly sort of masochistic mean way while we're here is see if we can find any bindweed in this garden. And so far we've seen one bit but we didn't capture it. So we're going to try and find Another piece of bindweed. Schaudenfraud. What? Schaudenfraud, delighting in someone else's misery. Schaudenfraud? I think we found a bit. Oh, oh, look at that. My trusty friend. Even the Royal Horticultural Society of Great Britain cannot <laughs> avoid the bindweed. Let's trot. in the background too. It's hard to integrate into a picture when you have such a beautiful backdrop. I, I can't live up to that. I've tried in my carefully selected outfit and dashing hat. I'll never be as beautiful as a rhododendron. Will I? Here we are in the stumpery, um, which is a little bit scary in here actually. It's quite sinister and I think it's something about the, well you know, these kind of dead, dead bits of wood. And also the shapes of them are quite, um, I don't know, they're not soft are they? And they've got these kind of gaps and, and this darkness. So let's go around the corner and um, have a little look at this one, which is, I mean, quite epic. I mean, I can't figure out what it is, really. Is it made of lots of bits of pieces, or is it one? It's bony, like a bone house. It is very bony. Um, yeah, stumpery. A steep slope is probably the least desirable of all situations for a garden, and the most costly and difficult to work. It is nice to be at the bottom of the garden sometimes, but one cannot remain there indefinitely to admire the view and the thought that no one, except the passengers on the railway in the valley below, could see my abrushes, would sour me, fill me with hatred, and bring me to an early grave. Mm -hmm. 